Hi there. So for this question then, part A, you had to expand 2 plus x over 4 to the power 10 using the binomial expansion, giving the first four terms. And then in part B, you had to get an approximate value to 2.025 to the power 10. And as you can see, it turned out to be 1,159.44 approximately. So how do we do this? Well, I'm assuming that you've looked at the tutorials I've got on my website on the binomial expansion. For this one, I've used the combinations method, as you can see. It's the easiest way of doing this, OK? You could use Pascal's triangle, but with such a high power to get these coefficients 1, 10, 45, 120, it takes quite a bit of working. So I would definitely go for the combinations method. And just to take you through this then, we start with the power 10 in this case. We do 10c0, 10c1, 10c2, 10c3 and so on. We take the first term, 2, and we start with the power 10 here and then reduce it down by one power each time. OK, as you can see. And then we take the second term in the bracket, x over 4 in this case. We start with the power 0 and we gradually increase it in each term. Power 1 here, power 2, power 3 and so on. Using your calculator to work out these combinations here, you should have a button on your calculator, NCR as we call it. Type in 10C0, you get 1, 10C1, you get 10, 10C2, 45, and 10C3, 120. If you're unsure of how this function works, again, do check out the videos on my website. So working through this, you should find you get this answer here. Now, for part B then, we had to work out an approximate value to 2.025 to the power 10 from this expansion. And as you can see, they're both to the power 10, so it must mean that inside the bracket here, 2 plus x over 4 must have been equal to 2.025. If I subtract 2 from both sides now, I get x over 4 equals 0 0.025, and multiply by 4 gives me x equals 0 0.1. Normally when you do questions like this, expect to get answers like x equals 0.1 or 0.01 or 0.001, maybe even 10, 100, generally something to do with 1. If you don't, kind of suspect that something might be wrong. So I've substituted when x equals 0.1 into here. The working out is very easy for 0.1. All you've got to do for this is just move the decimal point back one place in here. Just move it back two places and here three places. And you can see I've written it in column form. So it made it very easy to add. So I didn't even need a calculator. OK, so hope that's given you some idea anyway on that question.